I want to welcome you all today to First United Church of Christ here in Mount Pleasant. Our gospel today, it comes from John, chapter 10, verses 1 through 10. Christ said to them, Truly, truly I say to you, he, does, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in by another way, that man is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the gatekeeper opens, the sheep hear his voice, and he calls and his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. This figure Jesus used with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So Jesus said again to them, Truly, truly I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep do not eat them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved, and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes willing to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it on me. The word of God shall we pray. Gracious God, know our hearts and minds and make us an acceptable sacrifice unto thee. For you are our rock and our redeemer. Amen. So as we are slowly beginning, slowly beginning to return to some moral seed in our living. We too have come to hear Christ's voice. Christ's voice seeking us. Return. Come to me. Return to worship. Return to your supplications. Rekindle your spirit. Lift up your, your ears and your and hear your hear the voice of Christ calling. And we know his voice. And we are thrilled to seek out our Lord, our shepherd and God's and comforts us. Now currently though, is a challenge uh, to decide what to do here as far as gathering for worship. Yes, we are back, but we are distancing ourselves, but we've come together. But it's difficult to decide whether to come to worship or abide by the words of this stay home, be safe, Miranda, memorandum. Are we being safe or are we being fearful? When this distancing protocol began here, what was it, a month ago, something like that, uh, we had an experience as a congregation of what to do here. And, uh, but we never truly closed our doors. We just sort of quietly decided to be safe and stay home and ride this, uh, this thing out. But still, every week, Myself, the wife Barbara, Sarah, our camera person here. Uh, we came down to Mount Pleasant here Sunday mornings, the first church. Uh, and we would come in just long enough to record a message for you all. Not just for the congregation, but for all who found us on these, uh, these electronic waves of Facebook or, or web page. And the other thing is, the doors were never locked while we were here. They were always unlocked. For anyone to come in and to share if they set aside. So truthfully, we were never truthful. 
truly blessed in our worship. Limited, yes. But in the same word, in the same breath, I should say, broad to be accessible to folks, like I said, through our technology. But today here, yes, it's felt like it's been a while. It's been a while. We've been apart. We want to read from that. Now, we might feel distant from each other. But we all know that distance did not happen with Jesus Christ. Through all of this, we have not lost our ability to hear his voice, recognize his calling. And truly, he is that voice, that urge that has brought us back to our house of worship. Even though we're honoring safe distancing. And really, when you really think about it, this is most churches in, our, in, the, in the States. We have more worship house than we have members. We don't like to admit that, but it's true. It's not hard to socially distance yourself and still come together for worship. This will bring that out. Though the world may leave us fearful and afraid, we as Christians, we still find comfort in the familiar voice of the shepherd, Jesus Christ. And he is truly, truly the only voice that can comfort God, lead us in these worldly trials and trepidations. Now as we we're seeing and experiencing through the same media that's bringing us out there to the world, Others attempt to corral, to manipulate. They have clever means to try to enter our safe havens of our lives. But it is only Jesus that has the authority, has the love, has the right, the privilege, has our Lord and our God's full affirmation being He is the Son and our Savior to do what He does best, to seek us out, lead us, where we are assured safety in eternal life through His passion, through His body and blood, and the renewing waters of baptism. As stated in the scripture, the thief can only steal, kill, destroy. We also know the thief, the worldly who feed and consume at the expense of others, armor, will not be accepted into the kingdom of the divine realm of God. Those obsessed with worldly acquisition have no acceptance into the true life. The eternal joy assured us in our acceptance of Jesus Christ. So I say to you, listen to the shepherd's voice. Open your hearts and minds. Let your ears see, your eyes your ears hear, your eyes see the true nature of Jesus. Let his, let his kingdom dwell within you. For he truly is the good shepherd. He does not corral us to manipulate us and profit from us. His fault. We are those he truly loves. He wants for us the same as he has, the happiness, the joy, the peace, the content that he has being the one, the one chosen, the Son of God, who is our Father.
Father of all us, our Creator. Amen. So we pray. Gracious God, we thank you for this time that we can share together in the faith. To be one full, to follow Jesus, our good shepherd. Help us always to be able to recognize his voice to guide us, regardless of the static in the world, and keep us in those green pastures and still waters that has been promised us through, for our eternity in his name. Gracious God, there are those in this community who need your help and healing. We ask your grace to be upon them. People like Ann Hart, Helen Bellinger, Elizabeth Lysta, Jan Morales, Aaron Anderson, Nancy Shaw, Marie Hirsch, Lindy Edwards, Cammie Cation, Jane Altman, Mary Beth Brown, T.J. Murphy and his family, Patsy DePaul, and Kelly Dunlop. And gracious God, in this moment of silence, we also raise these names that are in our hearts to you for your help and for your healing. Gracious God, as you know best, keep help and protect and guide us in your ways. This we ask in Jesus' name, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debts. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of our heaven. Amen.